I'm standing on Kiev's St. Michael's Square. This is where demonstrators relocated to after they were forcibly evicted from the other independence fight, in fact, of the 2004 Orange Revolution. And there are thousands of people here. Even more are streaming in. And this is a very emotionally uh, emotional and loud place, it must be said. There's, a, there's an electricity in the air. People are chanting. Seems that every car that drives by is honking its horn in, uh, in support. But tomorrow we may see an even bigger demonstration. Opposition leaders have called for a demonstration to start at midday. It may, in fact, be even bigger than last week's uh, demonstration, which saw 50 to 1,000, uh, 150,000 to 100,000 people. But the question is, what will the authorities do? We saw violence this morning. These protests, which have lasted over a week, have been marred by uh, incidents of violence, uh, isolated incidents, and there will be a very heavy police presence for tomorrow. That is for certain. And David, the president has said he's deeply outraged by the violence. Yes, that's true. The president has said that. We'll see if he stands by that, if it continues, if, these, if the opposition continues these, uh, these protests, which they promised to do. They have called for his ouster. They want early presidential elections. They also want the uh, resignation of the government. So the, uh, and the government has already shown signs of a bit of nervous. The president has met last week with the press, as his, uh, his prime minister have. So as the protests uh, continue, we'll see what the authorities' reaction will be as the pressure mounts.